Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to do the kick and hold actions. For example, in this website, once I do click, I am not able to get anything. If, even if I do double click or triple click or something like that, click single clicks, that not going to give up, give any sub menus. But once I do click and hold, you can see that we are able to get this F book, Twitter and Yahoo, right? So the scenario here is we have to do the click and hold. In Selenium, it's very easy. From the actions class, we can grab the click and hold function and that's going to work fine. In protector, it's a little different. We have to use the mouse down event or the mouse up event. So in our scenario, we are going to use the mouse down. Let us see how to do that. So I'm just going to copy the URL and I have already pasted here. And I'm using this wait for Angular enabled false because of course this is not our Angular application. So we are using this line here. And then after that, of course, we have to find this element. And here we can see that we are able to get this like view frame source. That means, of course, this particular element is within the frame. So before finding this particular element, we have to find the frame. Now, if I inspect this, here we can see that we have this name as the result. So I believe you remember already. Uh, we learned about this frame concept in detail. So I'm just going to copy and write the code. I'm not going to explain this anymore. But in, just in case if you forgot or missed, I'll leave a link in the description. Probably you can check that. So first, await and then followed by browser dot switch to dot frame. And within this, I have to pass the value. Now, if it's ID or name, I can directly pass using the string. After that, of course, we have to find the element. So here we can see that it has a class called hold underscore trigger. So I'm just going to copy this and here await then followed by. So to find any class, we have to use the dot operator and then I mean dot symbol or operator, whatever it is. And then we have to give the value. Now I'm going to store this in a variable. So let us say that uh, this is going to be in my element. That's it. And after that, of course, I have to call the um, actions right so here i will say await then followed by browser dot actions and then followed by we are going to do the mouse down here so i will click on this mouse down and within that i have to pass my element and of course we have learned so many so in so many videos that whenever we are going to call this element we have to use the await and then followed by element dot get web element right so here await and then followed by element dot get web element now we are not getting any suggestions because we have written the await keyword here so no need to write await when we are trying to find the element but when we are going to do something with that element we have to use the await in front of that simple right now here i will say get web element and that's it and of course we have to end up with this perform or else it's not going to work right that's it we are done with this and in after all, I have this 5000 weight so that we can see what is actually happening in the browser. So let us try to run this. And if you noticed, we have used this kind of syntax here. Uh, so if you are on the latest version of Node, we no need to write the import and use the Babel. Instead of this, we can call any of the protector or browser or element like that using this namespace concept. We'll talk about this in detail maybe in some another video. As of now, we can skip that and I'm just going to click on this run test to execute my script. And here you can see that it has already clicked and hold and we are able to see all the sub menus, right? So that's simple. It is just uh, instead of using click and hold that is um, out of the box in Selenium from the actions. But in terms of protector, some of the things are a little different. So I think this uh, help you, right? And uh, it is also recommended. So whenever we are going to use the mouse down, we have to use the mouse up key as well. I do not have any actions to perform after this, so I have skipped or else it is always recommended to write like this. So here I will say mouse up and that's it. But of course, 
it is going to act very immediately so in between that we have to add some sleep so that the mouse up action is going to perform right so here i can say browser.sleep and maybe 5000 seconds that's it so that's it i'm not going to run this so of course we know this is going to work but the reason we introduce sleep because after this execution this execution is going to happen very soon so but we want to click and hold for at least two or three seconds so that's the reason we have given this max max of 5000 seconds i mean 5000 milliseconds that's five seconds and that's going to work for sure okay so this very simple concept just we have to use the mouse down and the mouse off see in the next one very soon if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments thanks for watching bye bye take care